Five shots. I don't know, man. I don't know. Called a few back, too. You scored 51 and three quarters. How does that feel? Um, you now it feels good. Um, you know, this is one of the nights where it was falling, those games where I miss a lot of shots, and I'm like, I got to keep shooting them. You know, I, I train enough to where I know I'm supposed to make them. And, you know, unbelievable screens tonight, unbelievable team game. Um, and beginning to end, we play really well. I mean, you just look at, you know, I find it interesting, the three previous 50-plus point games that ended in losses. And this was the first one that resulted in a win. It, it just to me speaks to the growth of where this team has come from. In those earlier days when you were, you know, putting up those kind of numbers, do you feel the same way about it, or do you see it maybe a little different? Uh, obviously, feels better with the win, um, but that was just a whole different time, man. We were playing different basketball. We were in a rebuilding stage, and um, just a young team trying to figure it out. You know, we have established veterans on this team. We have guys out, well, you know, with guys coming in and ready to go. So. You know, the team's so deep. Um, we play so well together, and, you know, it's fun to be a part of. That sequence you had where you hit a three to give you 50, but then they called foul on Landale. Looked like you just decided, you know what, I'm going to just get to, <laughs> I'm gonna get this small way. Was that pretty much what happened? Yeah, I figured I was going to come out, you know, at the end of the third. So a lot of people get on my case when I fall short of 50. I always tell them I've done that before and didn't win, so I'd rather win. Um, but tonight we got to do both. Yeah, what does it feel like? I mean, obviously you're sitting watching a victory, but to not get to get back in there and just keep going. It's fine when I'm winning. Um, you know, I've been there before. Like you said, I've had 50 before. Um, you know, so it's not something that I'm shooting for at all. You know, if it happens within the flow of the game and, you know, I have it going and the team, you know, wants to keep playing through me, then I'll do that. When did you know you were hitting that zone? Do you want me to hit the Javon Carter or, or Katie <laughs> when I woke up? Uh, um, that was Javon. That was great. Yeah. Um, no, nah, man, there's been a few games, even last game in sack. Um, I still feel like I missed you know, a lot of shots that I should have made, and I'm always going to feel like that after a game. But, you know, I, I keep stressing the screens, and, you know, even with the double teams and the boxing one that they threw tonight, I feel like I still got really good looks. When you were going through your pregame today, you got it going a bit on the threes and started moving with a bit more mojo. Can that carry over to a game sometimes for you? Yeah, you know, that's important. You know, you're drilling. You know, when you're out there drilling, I'm imagining myself in the game and I'm imagining myself in those moments. So, um, you know, I, I shoot every ball to make it. You know, I don't take any play shots. Did that feel like Utah and Boston a bit at a certain point in the third quarter? Utah and Boston. Yeah, just, like the, just like the way you had it going and the way you were. Yeah. You know, it just felt like a double size rim out there that, you know, if I rise up, it's it's going in. But to your point, you, you just want to win the last two plays you made in the game were just the right pass, right? But yeah. I mean, those, those are aggressive double teams, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was looking to shoot it, believe me. You call it the run and jump, I believe? And yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, we see your demeanor, I mean, we know this is pretty much what it is, but how much fun was tonight with the fans and the crowd and all that going? It's the best. <laughs> it's the best, man. I don't know. They announced it every game. I don't know how many sold-out crowds that is in a row, but it's impressive. Um, Mondays, Tuesdays, Saturdays, it doesn't matter what day of the week is, they're going to show up and show out. And it's fun to be a part of. I think it's a big part of why we've had so much success um, in our home games this season, and, you know, let's keep it rolling. You've heard the MVP chance quite a bit at this point. What did it feel like the first time you heard him? This year? Or are you saying in Last general? Years ago, I'm assuming at some point you started they did it a couple of times in my early years, too. They did. <laughs> they did, even when we were in last in the West. That's what I'm saying, man. They're going to show up and show out um, always, and it's always been an unconditional love from, you know, the Phoenix Suns fans, every, every fan in Arizona, and, you know, to be a part of this organization, this team for so long is, you know, it's an honor. How do you like the way DA played tonight? I love it. 
I love it. Let's keep it going. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> was there any incentive to have this type of performance with your uh, teammate from the USA who's after being on the other side? No, I mean, it was just happened to be the same game. I mean, I have a lot of respect for those guys. Debo, too. You know, those are guys that I watch and I admire, you know, every move that they make. And they're doing some things out there. I'm like, dang, I wish I had that in my game. Um, and there's a bunch of guys like that around the league that, you know, I just try to take bits and pieces and study, you know, their, their movements and their tendencies. And, you know, there's a bunch of bunch of guys in this league with the endless amount of moves and what we call a bag. Do you bring up the more as now like five straight games where you really played well against him? Is there something you get more out of facing people you look up to, your, your idols? I mean, every night I can find something. I mean, we played the Pistons the other night and Ben Wallace was over there. So, you know, it's just every, every game, you know, I'm going to find something because, you know, I don't lose sight of being that kid that, that always wanted to play in the NBA and, you know, I have a lot of respect for the guys that have came before me, the guys that are in here now. It's a brotherhood that's, you know, fun to be a part of. For yeah, exactly. Exactly. They got us twice though. Don't let Tayshaw Brits in the building. Hey, no. He's in Memphis now. Good. 